Hey, how's it going guys? This video is for people that deal with rather larger production budgets because they usually have big companies as clients. I know that you're bound to, on a daily basis, probably run into friends or other people that request your services and you know that they probably aren't able to afford your rates. I frequently have friends that confidently ask for massive projects from me, such as say music videos, which I usually charge around $15,000 a piece to produce. So how do you handle these situations amicably and fairly? Now we're not talking about people that ask you to do stuff for free. That's just an easy, quick no. We're talking about people that have every intention of paying for the services that they ask from you, but just through lack of knowledge, either believe that the prices are lower than they actually are, or believe you might give them some kind of friend discount. These situations are always awkward and I know they can get tiring after a while. So here's some rules that could help you possibly avoid these situations or at least deal with them. Rule number one, don't trip out and take it personally. Again, these people are coming from a place of ignorance and not a place of malice. So always answer with grace. Number two, post your prices out in the open, whether it be social media, your website, I see too many people that are scared to actually show what their rates are. The transparency will save you so much time because people won't preemptively assume what your prices actually are. And if your price increases or changes, just change it on your website. Number three, even though you may suspect that they don't have the budget, talk to them as if they do until you're actually sure. This is a way of showing respect and avoiding the embarrassing situation of falsely assuming lack of funds. Number four, it's natural for the potential client to want to talk at great length about the scope of work of the project and avoid boring stuff like talking about the budget. And it's totally understandable. They're excited about starting this project with you, but it's your job to bring up the budget as soon as it's appropriately possible. This prevents valuable time from being wasted for the sake of both parties. Number five, it's essential that you're graceful yet still firm and confident in your response. People will in the end actually appreciate you a lot more if you're direct and clear. And people will respect your response if they know that you're confident in your response. And number six, decide whether or not this interaction requires a little bit of education. Sometimes it actually helps for a client to be given information regarding why a price is what it is. If the client is actually told the amount of work that video production or any type of creative thing requires, the price may begin to seem a little bit more reasonable. And lastly, again, guys, it's essential that you don't just give in to flipping out on people when this happens. And I know it's tempting, guys. This is a daily occurrence that we all go through and it does wear us down. You got to remember that people in general simply are not educated on appropriate creative budgets for, say, like video production. And yet it's interesting because everyone needs video production done on some level. Flipping out will just make things worse though. It'll give you a bad reputation and it'll just end up hurting your quality of life. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'd like to hear in the comments stories about how you've dealt with clients that couldn't afford your rates and how you dealt with it. And as always, keep it chill. Add your name and place of residence to my latest Instagram post and I promise to give your Instagram page a little peek. Thanks for watching.